Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here, and I've just arrived at an amazing waterfall, and my friends are coming along very soon. They're gonna go for a swim. They've got some rope over there as well. I've been here before. It's called Paradise Waterfall in Koh Phangan, Thailand. And I thought I'd do a little bit of a walk and a talk because I got some feedback from some people in the last video on if they like me walking and talking in different environments rather than standing still at home with just a boring white background behind me or just whatever's in my house. And a lot of people said that they liked it. So I'm really happy about that. So I'm trying to make videos in all different types of environments. I've been here before, but I haven't walked all the way up here. So the topic of the video, and got some people jumping in the water down there, I'm looking forward to that, is why I'm now training every single day. Yes, every single day, which I've mentioned in a video quite some time ago why I don't train every single day. But things are always changing, we're always changing, and I'm going to explain to you in full details how you can go about training daily, like me, if you want to. And man, I've already done a really long walk today and trained today, and now I'm hiking, it seems, all the way up here. So, yeah, my heart rate's going up, burning more calories, and this is definitely a high calorie burning day. So I'll make sure that I refuel a lot of food later on. So, why have I now switched to training every single day? And how am I actually gonna sustain this? And what I say is I'm only on day three at the moment, so it's early days. And I will do my best to train every single day, but I will be very very in tune with my body and very mindful I'm sorry if the light is not so good at certain points i can't avoid that i'm just doing the best that i can do in this type of environment and yeah if my body at any time wants like a day's rest or so then i will do it so i'm going to train every day as long as i possibly can and i'm sure there'll be a point where i say to myself today needs to be a rest day so i'm not necessarily going to train every single day for the rest of my life but yeah just going to do the best that i can do so the simple reason why i'm doing this is i want to be working on certain skills with calisthenics so i normally train every other day with specific hypertrophy training to tear the muscle fibers as much as possible so they grow as much as possible so I can maximize muscle growth and increase my strength as much as possible. But now, on the rest days, what I'm actually doing is training for one arm chin-ups and pull-ups. But even more specifically, I say more so for the chin-ups, but the one arm chin-ups, progressing towards those, it transfers over to one arm pull-ups as well. One arm pull-ups are way harder than one arm chin-ups. So that is why I'm doing that. And we're gonna go over here. Oh, actually, I have been to this part before. I forgot about this part. And I love the sound of running water. It's so, so therapeutic. And just getting out in nature, away from all the electronical devices that I spend a lot of time on every single day, it just makes you feel calmer. And the air quality is just so good. So it floods my body with oxygen. We're gonna jump over there jump up here <laughs> look at that so amazing nature at its best and we're going to go over here to get a little bit of shade. And yeah, so that is literally why I'm training every single day. Because I want to train for calisthenics skills. And this is the first one I'm going to be doing. It's better just to focus upon one calisthenics skill that you want to. The more that you're doing, the longer it's going to take you to progress towards them. So I'm just focusing upon this one at the moment. And then I move on to another one. And the reason why I'm doing this one is I just think one arm chin ups and pull ups just look really, really amazing. And working on one arm calisthenics exercises is just going to improve your overall strength. You can be able to do more pull ups with two arms. It's going to help you go towards things such as planches and planche push ups and all of these really advanced, harder calisthenics exercises that require a lot of strength. And so far, I am loving it. What I found is from the first day of doing the progressions for it that I did pretty good. But today, which is the second day of me doing the progressions, is 
that I'm stronger already on the second day. I've done this four where I've done push-ups every single day and I'm gonna be doing 30 days of 100 push-ups every single day for a month very soon. That video will definitely be coming up in the near future. So stay tuned for that coming as well and I will track my whole progress. I'm looking forward to that one. That was gonna be a real, real challenge. And yeah, sit down here. So yeah, I'm really excited to be on this new journey because I'd kept thinking to myself recently, how could I start practicing progressions on top of my workouts? And I was like, hmm, I might have to have specific days. So there are gonna be some specific days just dedicated to me doing various different progressions to help me get towards the one arm chin up and then over time the one arm pull up. And I will be tracking my progress. I actually show you a little clip now showing you the first day that I started progressing towards it. I have not ever at any point been progressing towards any one arm stuff whatsoever. And it's something that you have to train specifically for. So what I say is if you wanna do a workout routine where you can train every single day, yes, you can have days where you train full out and do specific hypotrophy training like I do to maximize muscle growth and strength. And then you can have your rest days, which are active rest days like I'm doing. But you're not going to be able to go to the intensity as if you were doing like a full on intense workout. I still work out very, very hard, but it's not a specific workout routine. It's just a progression routine. So I'm not trying to do loads and loads of reps and having short rest intervals. I'm having very, very long rest intervals, two to three minutes, not doing loads and loads of reps, really challenging myself and pushing myself. But if you're trying to go full out every single day and work out every single day, you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna burn out your adrenals, you're gonna burn out your central nervous system, and what you're gonna notice is your grip strength goes down, your immune system's gonna go down, and just your overall progress with training is rapidly gonna go downhill as well. So don't expect to go full out all the time. You can try it, but there's so many people that do that, and then they burn out, and then they feel absolutely awful. Then you have to recover from it, and then because you have to recover for days and not train, your progress then goes downhill. So you could experiment with this, and I would only recommend that not necessarily beginners do this. Well, if you're a beginner, you could do this, but on the active rest days, really train in a way that's not very long or very intense whatsoever. And as you've become an intermediate advanced like me type of athlete, calisthenics, bodyweight training athlete, then you can train harder on the active rest days. But just be mindful. Like I said, if you're gonna do this, do it. But if your body shows you some signals that you need to be slowing down, then start slowing down. And I would actually like to go up higher here, but I know it's gonna go very dark as you can see there. But I wanna show you what it might look like up here and actually do it without falling down. And I absolutely love climbing up rocks like this and just going through nature, especially like running through nature. I mentioned that recently. I don't actually do any cardio, but when I get the opportunity and I'm in nature and I can run, I'll do it. And look at that, woo! really good i'm actually going to use my drone very soon and do some drone footage never actually put any drone footage as of yet in any videos if you'd like to see some of that very soon let me know i'm going to create some intros and man sound of that running water so tranquil so calming <sighs> makes you feel very serene man life is good even though the challenges it's really really good so yeah that's what I'm doing, what I'm doing. I'll keep you updated on my progress, like I said, with the progressions for the chin-ups and pull-ups. And yeah, we see how long I can stick this out for. And it just feels actually really, really good for me to start training every single day. Because now I started to train in the morning. I only just started experimenting with this. And oh my God, I actually prefer it than training later in the day. Do you know why? Because you get that endorphin release that carries on throughout the whole day. So then I found my stress levels are lower. I feel calmer. And things that would normally stress me out are not stressing me out. So it's a win-win situation all around so I can see why a lot of people like to train in the morning I used to do that when I used to do cardio years ago like running cycling um, but not with body weight training at all yeah and this is a challenge trying to keep the camera on me and actually climb up here at the same time <laughs> I hope you appreciate this I'm like I hope I don't fall down and end my life <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can just keep going up and up and up. So yeah, that's it from me in this specific type of video. There's no point in me dragging it out further because it would just be 
pointless. And let me know, do you train every day? If so, what does your workout routine look like with training every single day? Or if you're someone that's gonna start experimenting with training every single day and keep us updated on your progress, or if you're someone that's tried doing it daily and had some negative effects, let us know why you can't do it and what the negative effects were. Or if you have any other experience or knowledge around this subject, let us know down below. We got this really loud whining animal. So any questions on anything I've talked about in this video today, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. And please share this video with anyone else that you think would like to hear about why I'm now training every single day with body weight training. If you're not ready, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis from amazing nature places like this paradise waterfall in Koh Phangan, Thailand, where I currently live. And the type of videos you can expect to get from me our videos on calisthenics, weight loss, intermittent fasting and various other things that help you go in the direction to gain and maintain the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. I've managed to and many other people that follow my information consistently over time. And make sure if you do want to be notified of when they're uploaded, which I have new ones coming almost every single day, that you do click the subscribe button and the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you'll not be notified of when those new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit. Stay energetic and go and get those games. Peace.